Hey guys, my name's Anthony Perfetto. Have you ever wanted to do a freeze time camp path like you've seen in The Matrix or in this scene in Echoes of 2019? Well, I'm here to help. Let's get started. Okay, let's start making our camp path. And I've chosen the moment that I want the camp path to be moving while time is frozen. This is my freeze frame moment that I want the camera to be tracking. Okay, so we're gonna first we're gonna add our first camp path here. Okay, so Merv camp path add, and then we also want to Merv camp path draw enabled one, so we can see what we're doing. Okay, now what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna little little time go, okay, and we're going to move the camera. Now, pay attention to all of that blood and the sparks, because that's where we're gonna be framing this entire time. We actually, um, what you wanna do is you wanna have a reference point, right? Where your camera is gonna be uh, pointed at the entire time. Sometimes you're not gonna have this blood and these guts and the sparks, you know, showing. Sometimes you're gonna have to just imagine where that character or that framed shot is going to be looking at. We have something visual here, so we're just gonna keep an eye on that the entire time and we're gonna we're gonna make sure that's in the center of our shot, okay? So we're gonna add another camera point. We're gonna let some time play, okay? We're gonna add another camera point, okay? Merv camp path, add. All right, we're gonna let some time play. And we're gonna turn it a little bit here at the end, all right? So shh, this is the death and the model was sort of right here, okay? So. I'm going to frame that. All right, so here's the important part. We want to hit escape, right? So we're going to do Merv Cam Path Enable 1. So you can do Merv Time Cam Paths in two different ways. This first way I'm going to show you. So the first way is we skip to the very first Cam Path, right? Now, here's the thing, though. Sometimes when you skip right to the beginning of the cam path, you get some glitched out models. Sometimes Magisk here will show up as um, as turned around looking at the camera instead of looking at the guy he's shooting at, right? So this is how we circumvent it. You actually want to skip a little bit before the very first cam path, right? So it starts at 315492. So we actually want to go to demo, go to tick, three, one, five, four, six, zero, right? So you see, I skipped to a different point in the demo and Magisk is now looking at us instead of looking at the players that he's shooting at. This is what we're trying to avoid here by skipping before the very first camp path. Okay, we can do this two different ways, right? And the first way is we bind Merv time mode resume pause to a key, right? We play the demo till we get to the point that we want to freeze, we pause the demo, and then we hit our bind for Merv time mode resume pause, okay? That's the first way, and I'll show you how to do that now. But let's pay attention, though, to this time here, 315492. That time is very important because here's the weird part about Merv time mode. When you pause it, Merv time mode resume pause makes the demo think that the ticks are still incrementing even though the demos pause. So that's how we get away with making a camp path in, in, in freeze time. It's kind of cool actually, right? Okay, so we're gonna do bind H, Merv time mode resume paused, okay? And then it looks like this went to 100%, so we're gonna, actually we're gonna make time go at 13% because we really want to get a precise moment here, okay? Let's not forget to Merv Cam Path Draw Enabled 0. Okay, we're going to do two things here. We're going to unpause it, right? And then we're going to wait until the exact moment that he gets headshotted. We're going to pause it, and then while it's paused, we're going to hit our H button, which, as you remember, is bound to Merv Time Mode Resume Pause. Okay, so here we go. And now remember, we're doing this this way so we don't get any glitches like you saw with Magisk before we start playing. Okay, so that's the part that I want in freeze time right there, okay? So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna hit H 
And as soon as I hit H, this demo is going to play, but everything's going to be paused. But yeah, pretty cool, right? And that's not the only way we can do this. It actually gets cooler. There's another command that we could do this with. In order to stop this, in order to get back to the normal time mode, we do merv time mode cur time, which is current time. Now we can pause and the demo will pause. So remember that tick that I, got, I told you guys to remember, 315492. Well, we're going to go back to it, right? We're going to now edit the start of the cam path because with merv time mode resume pause, it actually messes up your cam path's anchor points and changes the tick of them. So you have to actually go back and reset it to the original time, okay? So that's what we did here, okay? We went back to 315-492, and we hit Merv Cam Path, Edit Start, okay? So now we're back, all right. So here's the other way to do this, okay? We're going to go back a little bit, 315-460, okay? We're going to go back a little bit before the Cam Path starts, right? And we're still on 13%, right? Okay, so what if you don't want to bind Merv time mode, resume pause to a button, right? Well, you can do it automatically with a command, and I'll show you how. So there's a Merv command called Merv underscore CMD, okay? And if you can see here, there's a whole list of things you can do at ticks or at times, okay? You could add a command at a certain tick. So what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to do merv command add at tick 315-492 merv time mode resume paused. And so what this is going to do is at the very start of our cam path, which starts at 315-492, it's going to activate this command. So then all we have to do is wait for the perfect moment to hit our pause button, our demo underscore toggle pause button. To pause the demo, the demo will keep playing and we'll still get our freeze time, okay? So I'm going to do that now, okay? And then we're going to Merv Camp Path, draw enable zero to turn this off. Okay, I'm going to play the demo, all right? This command, Merv Time Mode, resume pause, is going to activate automatically and then all I have to do is hit the pause button. And I'm actually going to slow this down to about 6.8% to really give us you know, enough time to react to this, okay? So let's try it out. Okay, the demo's playing, the demo's playing, he's getting headshotted, and I think I wanna pause it there. Okay, I just hit my button that I have bound to demo underscore toggle pause, and because that command executed at the tick, that my cam path started at, I don't have to worry about pressing any binds for that. So you could do this two different ways. You can make a merv command that executes merv time mode resume pause at a specific tick rate, and then all you have to do is pause the demo once you get to the desired shot, or we can bind merv time mode resume pause to a key, we start the cam path, we pause the demo, and then we hit that key. Both ways work. It's really up to you what your preference is. My name's Anthony Perfetto. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. If you like this tutorial, please like, please subscribe, please comment for the holy algorithm, and I'll see you next time.